Newcastle Fans TV. Hello everyone, welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. It's finished. Newcastle United 1, Norwich City 1. Lee, has Kieran Clark just cost Newcastle a win tonight? He has. He has. We're just speaking off camera there. Nine minutes in. It's his error that cost Fuggy to go through. Take the risk. I get it if it's 70 minutes, it's 80 minutes and you're drawn or you're winning a game. But nine minutes in, and it's stupid that you've seen the crowd gun off at the Gallagher. He, he nahs, he can't even argue. Does I he have he, to do it though? Because I think no, it's just. Because the other hand, on the other hand, Lee, sorry to start but on the other hand, if he does let him go through and score, people say, well, why not do something? I take a risk. We we'll have to win this game with 11 men. Yeah. Because well, kind of, as soon as we go down 10 men in the Premier League, it doesn't matter who you're playing, whether it's North City or Manchester City, you're against it. And we were against it. And to be fair, I think the lads grafted the arses off and, and we nearly, we're nearly won it. And that would have been Kieran Clark's bacon save. But Kieran Clark, man, what are you doing, man? Our centre backs are all over the place. And we're, and we're best centre backs ended the game. Our best centre backs at the club ended the game in Fabian Shea and Fernandez. Norwich, let's, let's be honest. It's because it's Norwich City, it's because Newcastle are getting away with the points. That, that's how poor they are going forward. You know, Pukki has scored a good goal, but they're so poor in front of goal. Like, this, like, if we had, didn't really threaten well. Dubravka hasn't had to make save but that, after but save after save. That's also credit to our midfield and defence grafting the arses off though, mm-hmm. because they nearly, got, nearly got Kieran Clark out of jail. I did. Callum Wilson had a chance in the first half, maybe should have left it because Max, he was, or at least laid it off to Maxi because he looked in a good position. And that could have been more nil Newcastle, but Newcastle still, get, still has a couple of chances, has to be said. Uh, Joe Linton had one over the crossbar as well. So Newcastle did create stuff. It was all outside the box. Wasn't it, it was. It was nothing like Tim Cole never really got never had to make his hands dirty, did he? He was just it was just getting the ball off the fans. But Norwich didn't really create too much. Jamal Lewis intercept one from a good cross. Billy Gilmore. It was Billy Gilmore had a free kick, which was well saved by Debravka. But at half time, you think right, if we can take our chances, because they're not going to be there many. There's a goal in it at half time. Yeah. Yourself, they didn't looking out special despite having 35 minutes playing with 10 men. I didn't think it looked like anything special. I thought yeah. we, we were actually even. I, th- I completely agree. Completely agree it was even. And look, Newcastle got a corner. Second half, John Joe Shelby gets headed towards goal. Handball. We don't know by who, I have to be honest. because um, I got blocked though. Yeah, everyone. I got blocked, I couldn't but see. Six or seven Newcastle players. And this is what I like. It's a bit of dirty tactics. Go to the referee. Tell them to go with VR. Put the pressure on and make a decision. And the only thing I have with this decision, where's the red card? If it's a handball, surely. Yeah, if it's a handball on the line, aye. Yeah, surely if it's a handball, why was there no card? Why was there no red card at all? Which could have helped Newcastle. Um, Tim Krul playing mind games against his former club, got a fantastic yeah. reception. You can understand why he does the mind games, because no, normally he does what he's got a fantastic Rex, record for saving penalty. For Holland, and to be fair, he was very, very close, saving Callum Wilson's penalty. But in off the crossbar lead, Newcastle got one look with half I an thought, hour to go. I, I thought you saved it. I did. I thought you saved it. I think, oh, because he's great at saving penalties. We've seen it in the World Cup with Van Hall. One up against the odds. Brilliant battle and display up until Norwich scored. A lot of players stood out, which I'm, I'm sure you're going to mention in a second. But I thought we we're going to date here. I thought we we're going to date here against the odds when everyone's against us. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, Lee talks about certain players. My man of the match was Joe Linton today. He just grafted and grafted defensively going forward. Norwich didn't really know what to do with him at times. And look, do you know who's mine? The man who sounds very similar to him. Have a think. Joe Linton. Joe Lewis. Joe Lu- oh, yeah. Jamal Joe Lewis. Lewis. Joe Lewis. Jamal Lewis. I'll just walk. I thought Jamal Lewis was good. I don't I thought, think he's as good as Joe Linton. For him to be out in the cold and not start a league game all season, I thought he handled Max Aaron's pretty easily. He did. He and did. I think the two centre backs, Fernandez, I'm talking about when he came on, and Shea, the man key will look safe there. I know it's against Norwich, but it's against 11 men Norwich. Yeah. Norwich did get a goal, though, with just, over 50, uh, just under 15 minutes to go. Across on the right, Dubravka. There would be arguments whether you should do better. You only palms it away. Sometimes, do you Superman punch? Just get it further away. But I don't know if he's trying to pick an and catch it. it. We play in goal. Yeah. Devon push it back into danger. <laughs> we're not professional. Keep no, this going. but you know what I mean? Yeah. When you're a goalkeeper, you didn't push it back in the danger. You push it wide. Yeah. No. You catch it. People are saying you should catch it. It's, it's, done that, it's done that a couple of times. I remember one against Wolves um, pre-COVID where he, should, he was very similar. But he does very, very well. Great Berries it's a fantastic finish you could easily yeah. just get under they, it they wanted the three points they were like oh, let's get back let's get back but, does, but does, it, does this sum up Newcastle United right now Louis that 
all the fans were thinking, come on, just go yeah, for we, it, even we against Beats. How are you, how are you up to Brav Gowio every time he's getting the ball? How are you, we've got six minutes at a time, we've got a, we've got a chance. They, they didn't look now special tonight. Yeah. Norwich grabbed a point, and they'll be devastated that they've come all the way here and couldn't beat a Premier League side bottom of the table without a win for 80 minutes against 10 men. We look at it and think, they didn't look anything special. We could have got another goal. But yeah. on the flip side, and overall, Kieran Clark cost us. He did cross when Newcastle didn't really create much after that. Callum Wilson chased a lot of balls down. Isaac Hayden, I can't really remember him doing anything good. Oh, his, his forward balls were shocking. Mm -hmm, really I understand was. why he was brought on because at the time we were yeah, winning. Course. But his forward balls to Callum Wilson were shocking. Really Just kept giving Norwich the, the chance to attack with. Lee, briefly, point gained, two dropped. Where does it leave us? It's, it's a bit of a mix of both. If you said, you know what, you're down to 10 men of 80 minutes, you would have said, I'll take a point. But because it's a it's a team again, so I don't think did anything special tonight. I kind of think, well, wait a minute, there's a chance to try and get all three. So I'm kind of in between. It's a, it's a point point gained in one aspect, but I look at it, think we could have got another two. I have to be honest, and I'm saying this now. I don't see Newcastle staying up. That was it. We had to get six points from Norwich and Burnley, and the most we're going to get is four. Now we have to be Burnley to give us any half of a chance but I just don't see it happening with the games we've got I think we'll be cut adrift and I think January will just be too late for us but that's not the fault of Eddie Howe it's the fault of the, for the Burnley, right you know what you know what's coming yeah. in their attack play Fernandez, you'll enjoy that yeah 100% Look, let's finish Newcastle 1 Norwich City 1 get your comments in below just a little shout out to Adam uh, part of our group here Newcastle Fans TV uh, bit of some obviously he's, he's Mrs and his little girl on very well so give him some nice comments uh, in the comment section below as well and hopefully it's been improved for everybody from Newcastle Fans TV but let's finish here Newcastle United 1 Norwich City 1 stay tuned for the last word later on and we'll see you all very soon Newcastle Fans TV